Had it twice, not fun. You can never do it again. At least I'm trying not to. <coughs> oh. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, so I just did a bunch of stuff to get sidetracked. The whole goal of this stream is going through uh, Cloud Trainer's quest. So let us do that right now. Get into it. And we've been going hard for like an hour so far. So I'm loving it. Uh, let's get it. <clears throat> but how you been doing? How you been doing? Other than being sick, how's life going? Uh, and also, depending how I am with Primos, I might do a summon later into the stream. Not sure yet, but I really want Miku. That's what I'm trying to go for. I'm like climbing the highest part. <laughs> Reach AR 58, got Chi Chi, pain. I'd be it be like that, man. I don't know. I found out the key to not get Chi Chi is to actually want Chi Chi. Because I do want Chi Chi, and I have yet to be, um. I haven't gotten many of her. I think I'm like C2 only with her. Remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, Ugh. she immediately threatened to squash Leela. Excuse me. Mm. Thought she'd be impossible to get along with. I say, oh, so we have a special guest joining us during the stream today. I'm watching my mother's dog, so he is sitting here admiring the stream so far. His name's Arch. I put a picture of him in the Discord server. Somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. She just hides snacks. Traveler, did something catch <coughs> your eye? Wow, well, it's what a pretty lady. Is Indeed. she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Could be a powerful yeah, adeptus. Right. All it takes is one look, and you can. Bro, I love special. Cloud I Retainer in this lady. fucking form. She just, she she's it. This is it. Peak character place. development. I'm simping okay, hard. But if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Who knew you were such a social butterfly, Paimon? Uh, yes. Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got hmm. this. She simply listens to the Traveler and Paimon is in the background. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hello. And she got the exposed hit. Mm. Fuck you, Paimon. Um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name? Wild Cloud Bayonetta. Hell yeah, man. You two... What is this tomfoolery? Has the shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Ah, I just love it, man. You're... I saw her through the fucking lantern right, so before I got to play this... Oh, I got like a little taste of the new Bayonetta uh, Cloud Retainer and I'm loving it, man. She's just so good. And so they gave her so much more character. Oh, dawning human form is scarcely any test of Oh, excuse me. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're indulging now because. Well, Ugh. one has made plans oh, I'm to gonna meet up for like two seconds. Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... <clears throat> Oh yeah, nah, the fucking brain cells of Paimon are just depleting, but I'm loving it. Paimon is good, but she does get annoying sometimes. Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Oh, mm. so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Oh, so, May, when I saw her, like, last lan fan Lantern Rite, when they got, like, a preview of her human form, bro, that's when it started. 
one has never found one so fucking good in basic comforts on the contrary it is the gesture that one values above all else so long as you've shown proper respect and consideration Ooh. the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter mm. Before you reminded Paimon about the gift. Ah, right. So by Even that. Bowls, you must mean Ganyu and Senha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. <laughs> One plan to extend the invitation even if Let's you had Let's go. More yourself. embarrassing Ganyu and Shenha Somehow stories. Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the Bird reason Mom, behind literally, your visit indeed. Here. You have cause to seek one's company? Uh, no reason in particular. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. After stream, I'm gonna hop back on Pow World, man. Story. I've been itching to play it today too. But I just wanted to play Genshin a little more. Hmm. Is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Good point. Then let's all go to Liyue. I forget that like Shenha has an actual job now, by the way. I always thought she didn't need to really work. <sighs> uh, actually, I want to hear what she's saying. Shenha has also secured employment recently. That's In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Ah, oh. ah, oh, she's upset. <laughs> they think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything oh, with one's she... own eyes. And decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. She's such an overprotective mom. I love it. It's so good. Huh? That chest. Alright, let's teleport over there. Bro, I love, like, bird mom. She just has a good character. She just got so much character development, and I'm loving it. I know I said I loved it like five times already, but still. Mm. Ugh, I didn't even get to hit the ground. That's crazy. We're almost at Way High Pavilion. Mm. Uh, Excuse hey, me. Do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? We have no idea if Shenha or Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, I hope they've seen her wait, in this form. Where did she go? Why is she standing there, Cloud Retainer? Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with Oh, they don't know about that form. Oh, that's stupid. Why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. Hmm. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. I'm so happy I pulled for it too, man. Presence here. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then we'll just pass on your regards and. Mm -mm -mm. Cloud retainer? Oh shit, I already knew she's here. Oh. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Busted. Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? No, go to work. Don't do that. Is quite full. Although oh, not to worry, Ms. Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Yo, the amount of work Ganyu goes Thank through you, is actually you. insane to me, too. Like, girl needs a vacation. But at the same time, I feel like a vacation would just stress her out even more. It's been a while, Ganyu! Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last <laughs> saw her... you in this form. Is her back turned. You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this... Cloud retainer of whom you speak. <laughs> what the fuck? One is simply a mere mortal passerby. Not a mere mortal uh, passerby. <laughs> There's the little like you serious smile too. It's fucking great. 
Mm. And you saw right through her. Uh, that was but a simple test. <laughs> one did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially You're her after fucking so mom, of course you're going to look at that like form. recognize you. Be bewildered. She's thinking, why would she wouldn't recognize her? I just seen you every day. <laughs> That's fucking great. But recognizing you is uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Hyman wasn't aware of any important. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cloud retainer's right. We've still got something super important to do, so. Paimon sucks at keeping long, secrets, okay? man. <laughs> oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting <laughs> your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find your Aw, she misses her kids. That's crazy. That's so sweet. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Oh, <laughs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep and you suffered. You get in fucking and embarrassed. <laughs> Cloud Retainer, stop! Oh. If you insist. We are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why well, I want more embarrassing Ganyu and Shinha stories. And listen. Wow. You've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you hmm. ever need anything, please just come find me at your high pavilion. Also, you don't specify for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan, I don't specify where we've been, and I like that. So anyone, like, at any point in the game, can to adopt do these. A human name? A human name? Huh? You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown. Oh, I keep saying Cloud Retainer. I don't know her new name. I keep forgetting it. As a name. You really think so? I, not that you're not famous or anything, but that famous? Hmm. <laughs> you presume that to know famous? the extent Damn. of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <laughs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point mm -mm. on, when in public mm -mm. occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shen Yun. Shen Yun. Okay. Ah, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. Huh? An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and hmm. unfettered. Background. Ooh. The record yeah. referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Hmm. Mom feels like only the Actual reason why she's called Shen Yun. I feel that like way. Shen Yun. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Oh. What? Wait, so you're really that powerful? Yeah. Damn. And what of it? Did you truly take Paimon to be thought she was just more weak. than a bird of bigger than average size? Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> nah, that's fucking great. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The yeah, now I want to know. Can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Li. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent hmm. day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy. Simply reading about it is enough to gain I forget Ganyu is like really young compared to like during that time. the fucking um on top of the drought Adept a noxious gas also began to spread through the land if not for cloud retainers efforts 
Much of Lyra would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. Mm. The books had this the to plot say about thickens. what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain... I need to see her heavens. face without her hair, Drought like, over her forehead. Because I know that forehead's fucking massive. And those bushy-ass eyebrows. Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you still You're the one who did it. Drought. Can you really control the weather like the book said? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. <laughs> uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling There was no respect at the beginning. Before. Too mad, are you? Oh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? Hmm. <laughs> Definitely. In that case, I will continue to call also, you. I never knew, like, hmm. Well, that is it's cool that I got visions, but now. like, I always thought, Tell like, they you, had just had the power she of she themselves, too. A job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what pray tell of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she asking all the basic mom questions. With work? Is she allowed time off during lantern light? That is a lot of questions. <laughs> there is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. Oh, that's good. One in restaurant's business has been booming recently. So with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shanling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. I see. Oh, Most okay. excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that. Yo, family. Shenha probably gets the Shanling fattest is tips. Kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. Yo, what Shenha has, has to be no getting the fattest tips. That they will make you know way she's not gonna difficult. tip like massively. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit the vittles of noon. The way she speaks is just immaculate. Oh, but didn't you just say that you had something important to do? I uh, cannot wait until after we've eaten. Yeah, there you go. I'm on clutch. You may return to your work, on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Mm. See you around, Ganyu! Ganyu's such a good character. Oh. Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? As soon as you mentioned to the restaurant. business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? No, in <laughs> fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. No, oh, damn. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. I really hope there's like no actual reason she's just here to check on them. Playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? Maybe. I would assume so. I love how Madam Ping's just always chilling here too. These aren't new. I think they're new. Yeah, I'll have to figure those up too. Alright, to the restaurants. Away. Oh shit. <laughs> Ugh. Yo, she hates her fucking job. That one, like, hit NPC advertising the Adventurers Guild. I don't know, I feel like I'd be having fun with the Adventurers Guild. I wouldn't be wearing the uniform, though. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, how can I not? 
Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, man. Oh, of course. I told you the fattest tips. I'm more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait. What can I get for you today? Hmm. Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering. Uh, if you what would you like to order? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good Yo, Bye. she's fucking intimidating. That's fucking great. I thought fucking, um... Cloud Retainer is going to be a cock block. Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? Well, welcome as his guest and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's <laughs> weird. Mm hmm. Oh, and this is? She doesn't know who Cloud Retainer is in this form? Skinion. Master? Oh, there you go. Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. Oh, there you go. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I mean, the whole bird I've fit? I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <gasps> you. Aww. Aww. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. Aw, oh, this is such a nice feeling to have. It's Indeed. so good. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead. Sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Sitting. It's so fucking annoying to get back here. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanyin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable uh -huh. and accommodating human. Still, Ugh. the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenha? Nothing is difficult for Shenha, what the fuck? It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. I'm breaking their arms. Like you've been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean... First, I tried to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten I threaten with, with violence. violence. Oh, that's At so fucking point, good. they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. Bro, I'm so serious to this ship. Ito can pull her so easily. Oh, a sensible plan. Ito One can do that. to see you integrate so well into human society. And you, Master? How have you been? Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, One has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to Oh, she's so upset that you don't visit her. Oh, just as expected of Master. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, she misses them so much. I have <laughs> Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Mm. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your life. <sighs> She's such a good There's mom. There's hardly a need to keep one in sus- Whoa, her mood shot up just like that. <laughs> By the way, Master, since you are in Miyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? <laughs> Indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Oh, she's hating that. I know I she's hating that. the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It is amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. <laughs> I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Ooh. Oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. We don't. She doesn't want us no, to know about her. That's crazy. Problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter. Please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. <laughs> Master once participated in a race against Moon Carver. 
After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Hmm. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. <laughs> huh, what kind of device was it? She's just a craftsman. It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? A bicycle? Oh, an electric bicycle? bicycle? She made oh, that? you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flashmobile. One spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can it's cover thousands great. of miles in one day. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One hmm. was thwarted mere seconds from victory, when it was oh, thrown sucks. off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> anyway, do go on, Shenha. Master, that was the end of that story. <laughs> Is that so? Huh. Uh, Twitter's With fucking funny. Gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? Oh, she wants them Have to cheer her lonely, on. Master? That's cute. Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis the most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's lonely. Definitely lonely. What is the reason for that look upon your face? No, no, no. It's nothing. It's just... Uh, well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. Now that's crazy, that's Paimon. Thing. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me. They are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. <laughs> huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. <laughs> you chose to exalt one with your words. She just has a paragraph every time she speaks. It's just the amount of poetic of words coming out of her mouth. One would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks Yo, as one pleases. Yo, Cloud Retainer just yaps. Others may critique she is or a yapper. <laughs> Yet one places little weight in such judgments. She got like, what, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her ego is about to burst. Yes. Do you have any empty tables? Oh, gonna kick us out of our table? <coughs> hey there, could we get another fish stew? Hmm. Shit's getting serious. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with also, I really want to look at what that thing is on the stand. Is it just a? Mm -hmm. It looks like a giant sombrero full of food. I'm gonna go look at that after we get out this cutscene. So much yummy food! Paimon's gonna feast. Hmm. Can you eat this kind of food, Clown Retainer? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, now these foods one do has look been slapping. struck by quite the fit of inspiration. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I wonder what's going on back I'm there. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? Hmm. But it smells so delightful. 
Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, I I'll ask around. Oh, are they gonna come? Oh, it's that chick. She was during Lantern Right, I think. I think that was her. Excuse me. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? Ah, well, Primark doesn't mind. What about you guys? I shoot some down. <laughs> as long as you don't mind the chatter. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuenda. She, I think hey. she is from Lana, right? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no. Behind just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Does she? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. <sighs> she's staring down at Cloud Retainer. Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Oh, that's why. She doesn't have the old lady model. Oh. Okay, that's funny. Have we met before? No. Hey. Just a favorite hey. meeting, then. Hey. Please, Stop. take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. What? They always pop up out of the ground. No, no, not oh, this no. again. Granny, oh, she has no dementia. Braised earthworms on the menu. Oh, that's rough. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Right, that's what Paimon was... Hi. Need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory's getting worse all the time. She's uh, always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Actually, dementia is like a very scary thing. Little, That's a fear of mine. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. We died young. It's just me and Granny now. Mm. Oh, um, uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow, you're mm. really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> you're too kind. And me. Oh, sh oh is this what like? Me? Oh, is this Clab Retainer? Too, Granny. Is Clab Retainer gonna adopt Granny. this kid? You're always there for me. I hope she stops yes. this kid. And it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh, wait. What was that really important thing again? Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? Well, that sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. Hmm. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. <laughs> ah, you know. Why is Shinha leaning back so much? Not Shinha, wow. Many times. Cloud Retainer. But just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Wait. So you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? Oh, the plot's thickening in this little story. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. Are you sure? Hmm. Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? Is <laughs> Am I not an expert? <sighs> you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, the great expert. Do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Hmm. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? Younger Granny. This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave the situation to me. Oh, are we're looking sure? into it? Um, so, what are your names? Paimon, Paimon. Just Shenyu is fine. Thank you all so much for hmm. offering to help. I'm surprised people don't recognize us, like, for asking, more often. Um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. 
Yeah, we're doing this for free. <laughs> Spits like a big charge at her. That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Oh, we're just traveling with her? Sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds. And the Emerald Mountain Stream. Huh? Okay, taking that as a no. I might have an idea. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me the Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved oh, really? lots of people from a disaster. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Ching Chou knows tons about Liwei's chivalric. Oh, we're gonna bring out Ching Chou? Let's fucking go. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. Oh. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Karma's Guild, while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Street Word Rambler. Street Word Rambler? Oh, oh Madam Ping. Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Okay. So we splitting up. We vibing. Okay. Uh, I would. Uh, I love Li Wei so much. The fucking new area made me fall in love with it again. And then it gives aspects of Sumeru. Oh, so fucking good. I totally leave, live in Li Wei if I was in the Genshin world. Like that's like. It's Leeway, Mondstadt, then uh, Fontaine. Sumeru is like a fourth now. Huh. Reading the same book. Two. What brings you here? Shinchu! Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. That's fine. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Hmm. A nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. Ooh. As the people suffered. A nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits in bandit camps. Okay. The people idolized Plot's her, thickening. but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhong. They were well matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. After the drought oh, I ended, love chihuahuas, the man. heroine and Looking the exorcist a chihuahua, like, left the public the eye and began sidewalk. living a reclusive mm. life in the mountains. All that remained were tales oh, of her books. incredible accomplishments. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. Xingqiu getting like a know. little bit of like spotlight. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Hmm. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiu, if you read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jueyun Karst, and Qingyun Peak. Perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations hmm. appear in the various novels written about her. Thanks, Shinshaw. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, 
I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Uendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, hmm. she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalrous hero behavior. to fade oh, no. into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying yeah, to Yeah, this is totally the granny. Something. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to un That's a deal. Perhaps. My mom feels like we just learned so much from Chincho. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life Oh, and it's nighttime. Serving uh, is so good. Wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Oh, right. There's a drought in this story, too. Um, Chincho, are droughts super common in Leoir? Well, they used to be. We're still yapping? But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Damn. Countless caravans were attacked. And people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. Oh, that's crazy, actually. Yeah. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity. Damn, that granny so kicked ass, the then. ...while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was... It was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Hmm. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Tianyun and the others again. Okay. Herman hopes that Granny Yu and I will be able to remember more of her past. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you uh, free me! No problem. Free me! Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. I could probably teleport up there. Oh. We'll glide. Oh, I gotta work on my bounties too. I think no, I can't do them. That's stuff wait till next week. All oh, land right, still going strong. How many days we got left? Uh, two days for land rent. Okay. Bonk. I have recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. Oh, music? Pineapple? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Straight word but pain. What has amused you? Oh, sir? she has lap lipstick on. I didn't notice that. Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Hmm. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keen. So I know Madame Ping is like depressed. And that's why song. she's like in this form. But can she like willfully change back? I would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh. Why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. <laughs> what is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. Uh, approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Oh, she's not trying to move here. Not one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> She's trying to move to the fucking harbor. Details. Let's go. Shinjo has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Yundai have joined up with us again. Oh, do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, Does she just give out tea to everyone? So much. What do you think, Chu Yu? 
Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Hmm. According to the story, the nameless oh, heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhai. Maybe... That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him. But there was this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Hmm. It has I think to be so it. too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains, thoroughly one with nature and that peace. If that's so, then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and hmm. take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. That's sweet. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. Oh, a secret? What's wrong, Shiyu? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant, but... Are you guys all a duck tie in disguise? Oh. Oh. Uh, about that. Why do you say that? Well, hm. you guys just seem super special. But I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Oh. oh. Must have been a slip of the tongue. Miss Shen Yun, since you were the one who uh misspoke. Maybe you can explain to Shu Yu here what you really <laughs> meant by that. Oh, I got caught in the act. One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? Huh? Just tell him. I knew it. Well, no one, one time when I was all. a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew oh, down from the sky. shit! She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. Oh shit! Up, so Clavitera knows her. I'd be back in my bed and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never. So I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus hmm. with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. So that's an odd... Is so it it's really not Clavertina. Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memory. I'm really Doggo next to me, give him pets. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one! Let's go to Wang Shu in first! Oh, I'm giving him attention. Okay. I shouldn't have How done this. Listen? Oh, come on, focus up. There we go. <gasps> Lay down, buddy. Lay down. <gasps> hey, no. <laughs> Don't start that shit. <laughs> Archie. Arch. This is gonna be a long story quest. I can feel it. Hey! Hey, relax. Wang Shu In. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And there you go, he got his toy now. Into the distance, you can always see a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe. I used to Oi. have a room here. Oof. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. How can we? Oh, he's throwing the toy at me. Oh, I'm my dog wants to come back in. I'm having trouble understanding what she's talking about, oh. but if she's so familiar with this place, that must come mean on. she lived here, right? Come on, get in. Wait, huh? Come on, get in. Relax. Oh, Zhao's here. 
I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. Oh, Xiao doesn't it's been know. Been a while, Cloud Retainer. Oh, so he does know. I see you have returned to your previous form. I have indeed. Hmm. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Ooh. Oh, wow. What was she like during the war? Please give us details. Oh wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Paimon, shut up. Let him explain. Behold, the glory of Paimon, don't fuck us like this. Don't fuck us like this. Let him explain himself. No. Ah. An impressive invitation. Paimon knows her all too well. Even so, God damn it. Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. Nice. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A oh, Cloud damn. Retainer who barely talked? I can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? Oh, so when she got used to it again. When between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. Okay. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... If one believes there Don't is little cut her need to read off. bygone matters. Ugh. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then, at this place, I... Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Ah, I want trouble, plot. You need only I want name. plot, man, please. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Everyone, I, I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Hmm. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Illness? Yeah. So what Shinjo said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but, but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, mm. and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. Mm. It was a solemn sight. Okay. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure now? I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul-revitalizing tea pills. Hmm. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. And sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. Hmm. Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? Oh, shit. And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kinda hurts. Do you oh, that's remember a rough. anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, oh. if only I wasn't so useless. I don't say hey, that. You're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. 
How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always hmm. superior to not finding anything at all. Let us make haste to the next location. Oh, I'm digging this. Next I can't wait to hit up this um, tutorial with her too. Oh, why don't Our we test go drive. To the area north of Dweyunkar's nest? There isn't really, after all, it seems. Damn, three spots. Oh, oh. I heard a Sealy in the distance, but I'm not going for that. Let them Sealy stay lost. Treasure Warriors here. There is no escape. The hunter. Nice. Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Is this still happen to be the first think. place? I feel like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. okay There's still plenty. Then. Let's Wait a then. second. If I hold, ooh, friendship shit. In the name of the princess. Go on, take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. Oh, thank you. Then Paimon will help us out. Friendship. We love that. Going up, going up, going up. Probably have more treasure hoarders we have to fight and or like hit the trolls because it's either of the two. I suck. I suck. There we go. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. More treasure hoarders? Question mark. No, no, no treasure hoarders. Banger, relax. Archie, lay down. Lay down, Arch. This place. It's. Mm. What's this place? Do you remember? What we got? Lay down, Archie. Did you remember something, Granny? I. I remember. Show you. This. Is where your father was born. Oh, really? It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. What the fuck? I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this Oh my house. god, this is serious? I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish before forsaking my oath. But 
spare my innocent child. Sin. Oh shit. Oh. Did you do something wrong? What is this know. grandmother's backstory? I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Oh, shit. Actually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. Oh, that's rough. That baby was your father. And I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. Hmm. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shu Yu. You're so much. His like grandmother's me, backstory is gnarly, man. So much. But you're always going to be different from me. I. Why? Just. What did I do? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. I don't. The, the fucking sweet, face does not match the emotion I'm in her lucky voice. I'm to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. Hmm. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. If one Let's recalls go. correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. Bro, you this fucking I, backstory is sick. I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. Hmm, such lightness of weight. <laughs> All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. Oh, that's sad. Oh, the that's depressing. To depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Oh, shit. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Backstory of this granny is like cutting deep. I run on no more now. I'm happy I did this. Can I teleport over there? Uh, I can't. Okay, never mind. We'll be fine. Oh, what a coincidence. We're right next door to where Cloud Retainer lives. It's unlocked. Okay. Bro, the fucking theme of this mount of these mountain ranges is just so beautiful. <sighs> We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny One Day? Let me see. How strange. Had I lived here before? When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But hmm. here, I don't have that feeling. Perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Did the hmm. stories get it wrong then? Yeah, I didn't expect everything true. to be right. Okay. But that's also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Hmm. Thank you. 
If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, let's find that one! Huh? Isn't that Mount Altai? Looks like we've come full circle. Yeah, it's crazy. Mount like I was saying. Mount Altsong. Mount Altsong. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Altsong, I... What am I really? Mount Altsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... Is I she an adeptus? Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Huh. Clem! Miss Tianyun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Alts. But... Fret not. All will be well. You are I want to I know if she's an adeptus now. Because that hairpin now, really looking like a bird. So I want to know what that's me. about. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart. And restore... Wait, really? What? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. Hmm. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Oh, we can glide over? Let's go. Oh, right over. I really should do that puzzle right there. That's probably like an easy chest. This is it. Oh, the, oh, the thing she was looking at. But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first hey, got here? Relax. Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. Hmm. I am most pleased with the result. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a Oh, that's what the recording she had. Okay. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia. Oh, it's this is what Larissa was talking about yesterday. Oh, uh, that's indeed. fucking great. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, that's what sick. A cool gadget. But if you, we could have come to Mount Altsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. Yeah. How preposterous! Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts. The device would have nothing to draw upon. We adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had oh, she, she needed to like test it. And also, the fucking ribbon one would have or whatever it is between her boobs is just amazing. Hi, I keep getting bitch. distracted by that. Now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, I was about to say, I thought it was the lantern right theme. I feel what you mean. My mom's body feels light as a feather. Hmm. As if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. Nice. And you, you and I. <sighs> It appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Did she fall asleep? Um, join one on this side. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? Oh. The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Oh, getting some plot. Please, no. Oh, this is like cut. Oh, screenshot Have you worthy. Forgotten? Man. This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Oh, what the fuck? Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. 
You should have never left. She didn't the attempt this. Of the past, the me from not that long ago. We should have never. What the fuck? Uh, uh, so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. The pots, I don't even say anything. This is just Cloud good. Retainer. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Oh, let me see this. Come on, the plot thicken. Really, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. Oh, I'm really liking this story come back quest. to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Claiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Bro, please just give us the backstory cutscene. I want to know. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Mm. Shunyu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story. Oh, story if time. If you're willing to listen. Yes. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Don't cock block the story, kid. Please. That. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Oh, with this music Is in the this background, the scene ah! That you mentioned in Joyun Karst. What happened? <sighs> I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years <sighs> living on Mount Outsong. With this music, in man. the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The lord of the mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would always Yo, stand what's next going to on? I'm just listening. I'm just vibing to the I story right now. I completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. Yeah, I just been I loving this. I just so immersed in the story. Passed us by until that fateful day fifty years ago. Fifty years ago. Yo, give us the cutscene. Let me look at it. <laughs> That's drought. right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis. Where do I put my past. character builds in your server? Um, let me look at that. In Discord server, you're talking about, correct? Um, where can I? Hmm. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Space lounds. Have context art. Uh, in the channel that says shiny Pokemon Flex, I'm just gonna put it to Gaming Flex instead. Let me change that name real quick. Let me. Ooh, here we go. Settings. I want to see these builds too. Yeah, 
So just put it in the channel that says Gaming Flex. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. Hmm. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. Human mimicry potion? She warned potion. me that the potion's effects would only last ten years. Oh, and wow. if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane. Oh, shit. And become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Death needed improvements, but oh, no. good enough. Let me see that. So that was the source of your dementia all along. These were yours? Hold on. Good lord, the crit damage on fucking Scaramouche. Damn. Oh, let me see that riding real quick. Damn, that riding's clean as fuck. Nah, that's really fucking good. Now, nah, props to you on that one. That riding Shogun's really fucking good. Indeed, I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we hmm. met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. Oh but shit, still, I'm falling in the water. Like me, oh, he just he fell. He deeply about the world and wanted more than anything to cleanse hey, it of relax. all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued oh, this is so to tip sweet. away. Hey, Those ten years stop. passed by in a flash. And that's only ten Yet years, bro. I did not want to leave his side, so I... I... Next. I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering, even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. Hmm. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes, but I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote oh, her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced hmm. that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. Oh, shit. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world, such that no one would be able to find me again. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with Bro, my these characters are so good. I'm just admiring them now. I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Damn. Looking back... I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence. Oh, that was her. We were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? Couldn't be. Master, oh, it was Cloud Retainer. Don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually. <sighs> hmm. 
Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny was wedded, would it not? Ah, that's so fucking sweet. <sighs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you up from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Ah, oh, this is so fucking truth sweet. Most evident, one always Bro, she's always a fucking mom. Hand. Forever a mom. What form they may take. Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Hmm. Ooh, cutscene. Let's go. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Please? Oh, never mind. Oh, we're playing through the. Oh, oh this is cool. We're in the past. One like... was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. Oh, shit. Oh, so we were actually we we're really mad about this. Okay. Where are we right now? Oh, is this oh fuck. Scenery looked fucking sick. That's where we're going. I thought we were going all the way over there. One had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was oh, she, oh, mom didn't approve of the but boyfriend? Still, oh, that's one sweet. One to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. Never unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Aww, <laughs> that's so fucking may sweet. Have been, wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. <sighs> Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, Hello, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took we get to great see the face. To oh, they the put a mustache on her. And select the appropriate oh, that's so type. funny. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu Inn. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? Hmm. Aw, that's upsetting. Oh god! One would speak to you about another matter. If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine and food with a depth of blood. His proclivity to attract monsters is probably oh, as complicated that of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, oh, she stepped in. Been lost the night. Seize the skies. I 
let's see how she plays now. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Hmm. Said godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Oh, Juan shit. was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Thank lore. God she stepped Some in. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. In the end, Juan was relieved to see you endure through the night. Oh, that's At the good. break of dawn, so Juan heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And Juan saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. Oh. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Oh, that's so Yo, fucking sweet, Skyler, man. Got her. Now you should have a complete understanding of the event. who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. So it was the grandmother, though. <laughs> Where are we right now? Oh, we're in the harbor. Okay. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. <laughs> Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. <laughs> when one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. Oh, that's fucking no funny. To apply powder to one's body <laughs> to the oh, she's such a good appearance. mother. I love you it. Became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps... Fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, good times in Genshin, man. Good times in Genshin. Now all has been revealed. <sighs> one owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. Mm. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenfe. Oh, really? Indeed. One wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Oh. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who lived through them. Would you not agree? Even oh. Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice. Nothing more. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Oh. It's a refuge referred to by oh, many I wanna cry. in mortal writing. It's actually really sweet. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish. 
yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Oh. You and I. One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. Oh. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So she keeps her memories so, now? What's gonna happen to Granny? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. Oh. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> mm, not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny, please don't leave, okay? You're all I have left. Please. Don't be sad, dear child. Oh. Granny has led a wonderful life. Oh, My only fucking... regret is having to leave you behind. The fucking heartstrings are being tugged. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Hey, good. relax. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're Aww, sure we're to just meet upset again too. someday. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. Oh, he was I thinking about his sister. That's why he was making that face. Oh, you, fuck. No matter how long it takes, I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you for everything. Hmm. Oh, we are upset too. <coughs> Fuck. Hey, relax. Relax, Arch. Oh, she just flies away? Kill you. Let her be. Oh. At her can't, age, can't get crying the toy. is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Yeah. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Hmm. Music is so good. Oh, cutscene.
This was a really good story quest. This is one of my favorites. <sighs> Are we sharing a dream with her? I actually want to cry. This is actually crazy. Oh, fucker. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. Ah. Oh. I always believed we would see each other again. Oh. Our days of separation would finally end. And all my troubles would be behind me. Where's Paimon in all of this, though? That's making me feel some type of way. Hey, relax. Hey. Hey, relax. Come on. Arch, get it. Get your toy. If only things could stay this way forever. Ah, oh, that's so upsetting, man. <laughs> Nightmare? Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't oh, we ready to voice wake line. up. <laughs> we have voice lines. Oh, shit. as one may be words of comfort are not one's strong suit you are doing all you can one can see your strength of will your fearlessness in the face of danger and so whatever your dream may Yo, be we're on a journey one bro believes genshin that is such a good game shall achieve it of course whenever the perils you face overwhelm you or you become weary one is always here for you. Ah, oh. always all, a mom, bro. As an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is so fucking good. She's sucking on her thumb. Talking to Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. M Madam Adeptus? Oh, sure you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. Madam Adeptus? Could I, uh... Ask you something? Would you? This is where she comes from. Disciple? Okay. Oh. Now I understand where that she came and from. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? <laughs> I know Granny thought what she did back she then was me. wrong. She felt really bad about it. But oh, without so that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. I thought maybe one day I could become a cool adeptus like you and help a whole bunch of people just like Granny wanted to do. Hey, relax, Upon bud. some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that Yuan Dai's blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. 
If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean... Madam Adeptus. Master. <laughs> nice. Uh, Shu Yu, are you sure about this? Pylon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Ching Shin and Violet Grass. <laughs> Damn. If you join them, you'll never enjoy one min restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. Oh, she's about to get slapped the fuck out. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. <laughs> well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty oh, treats up here now, is she? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. Get it, that is precisely <laughs> why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Oh shit. Whoa. You're leaving Mount Outsong? That one explains why now. Okay, I should have done this before Lantern Rite. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai, they all chose a life among the mortal world. <laughs> one has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. Hmm. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. <laughs> uh, that's so Why great that she's moving in. so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So... Does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? Yeah, <laughs> that's all she cares about. Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. <sighs> this is just a fucking phenomenal so, story uh, quest, when bro. when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Bro, I want to know how much money she has, because she was like spitting money out during Land and Right. Thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Oh, we're gonna keep it. Nice. Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future. You may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its. Awesome! Thanks, Quest. Oh, we get hey, fucking stressed. Hey, didn't promise Shinto that we'd tell him what we found out. Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. Uh, wait. Eh, let's go to the Commerce Guild. Fuck it. Get the full experience of this fucking quest. Where's our boy? There he is. We meet again, dear friends. Great! And it's all thanks. Oh, we explain everything. Ah, oh, it's sweet that we get to do this. Ah, I see. So the stories didn't get it right after all. Even <laughs> though she was a celebrated heroine, 
She had to bear a heavy burden that most could not hope to understand. Thank goodness for the help of that adeptus. At least she was able to recover no, what no. she had lost. Archie. Hey. Although I cannot relax, to know get your exactly ball. how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this all to myself. It's not my story to tell, after all. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, two whole days. Hey! Come on. We got a lot of time to kill. Uh, after the story quest, I'm calling it quits for the stream. So we'll just wait the two days and see where we go from there. <laughs> the dog's getting restless too. Hey! Ah, oh, it's under the bed. Ah, my fucking big dog. Okay. Where to? Oh, all the way out there. Oh, she lives over here? Oh, oh that's a nice place to live. <sighs> Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. Oh, shit. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I will never be able to earn it back. But even if I worked every single day for the rest of my oh, life... Oh, everything's just worth so much in her careful. collection? Uh, yes, you can never be too careful. We're here, Quill! Uh, Miss Canyon, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. Question their legitimacy is pure folly. <laughs> Several times. Uh, indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed you down go. over many generations, as just families are wont to do. Her boobs are just she very distracting. Uh. Been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. Jesus. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please don't go. I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. Mm -hmm. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. He should be here shortly. An expert, you say? <sighs> Very well. I will wait for a little while Who is this expert? Then. I feel like it's someone else, Traveler, you know? Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Master! Oh, and cute. Oh, it is her. Okay. Hello. Sit. Kiryu! You got a new outfit! It looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Master made it for me. I like it, too. I had no idea who this chick was what? during Land and Right, you so I'm happy I get to put on context. Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fret not, I shall help you move them into your room. Hmm. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything's kind of messy right now, so... <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you <laughs> must, child. Ah, uh, she's so happy she gets to be a fucking now, mom again. Now, this expert you mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Here, allow me to make some introductions. Oh, shit. This is Na Mr. Zhongli, 
a well respected <laughs> consultant. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Parlor, and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Mr. Zhang Li, this uh, is she's Ms. bugging Yu. out. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking good. Uh, if it isn't Miss Shen Yun, it has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Oh, in indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, uh this have is you beautiful. Been well, as of late, Mr. Zhang Li. Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains. And a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. You never just not me speak with such about tea. And peace. Huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow <laughs> me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields. And off celebrated for her impeccable taste. Ah, uh, he feels you dumb. stand to gain much from this opportunity. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhang Li. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost. Why, you flatter me, Miss Shen Yun. It would seem that you are as self effacing as ever. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Zhang Li. Not at all. I feel like there's um, some chemistry going on between them. While I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask, you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? Ha! Huh. A preposterous <laughs> accusation! The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to- Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. Oh, uh, they're gonna chew to them be the beyond fuck your out. capabilities in this instance. This transaction may be taken elsewhere. Oh, Say fuck. no more. Let us depart. Uh, I jest, I jest. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhang Li himself <laughs> has vouched for the goods? Miss Shen Yun, Miss Shen Yun, wait. I never realized Zhang Li's earring. <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Jean There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. Oy. The same can be said for this one here. <coughs> you could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With I'm that sorry, in bud. mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, then in that case, Miss okay. Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, hey, relax. how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? Hey, relax. The Northland Bank? Hmm. Oh, you must have fallen. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Oh, very well. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods. Oh, so she's getting money casually. Oh, that's sick. She's set for a while then. Friends, have you been doing well? <laughs> it's always great to see Zhang. We see Zhang Li the most out of all the Archons, man. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say. The name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Yeah. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for? Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Ah, uh, no, no one's comfortable with Zhang Li being casual with them. <laughs> Alas, refer to me however you will. 
After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> oh, you took his ball? Oh, my dog snatched his ball back from the... the my Plus mom's dog. <laughs> one has you jealous with the ball, buddy? Previous days were all brief. Now that one has made up one's Good mind boy. to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand this years ago. This is a ago. long story quest. Not Fuck. unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, what is enlightenment to aspiration. Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. Alright, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental. You make a valid <laughs> point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes oh, fuck together? Yeah, bamboo shoot soup. I had some of that the other day. So fucking good. Shoot soup. Hmm? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Huh. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Huh. Hardly. Yeah. T'was most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab roe tofu, triple layer oh, she's consume. really cooking. You shall enjoy the lot. One has already passed word to Shenhu and Ganyi to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. <laughs> oh, that's it sweet. It should be a most splendid occasion. Oh, Zhang Li's gonna love the meat here. Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... A humble employee of Wang Cheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Ah, oh, this is so nice fucking to sweet. You, Mr. Zhang Li. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' Temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. <laughs> you know, cause it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious oh. to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? You just hey, left Paimon. Paimon. Hey, hey, wait up! Oh, for, oh, I'm about to say we're the one that waits. That's fucking great. Ah, oh, that's such a beautiful story quest. Ah, oh, I loved it. I nearly cried. Ah, oh, that's like top. That's my new favorite one. It has to be. If I'm doing like, if I'm gonna do like a fucking ranking, it's this one, Ito's, Zhang Li's, and then uh, Wanderer. Wanderer was pretty good. So those are my top four. All right, let's collect this. Alright y'all, we've been going strong for three hours, so I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, for video's sake, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, do the same thing. Ring those bells so you never miss my streams and or videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, come swing by Twitch. Join the family. L join the Discord. Know when we're about to stream. Join the conversation. Uh, other than that... Please stay well, have a good night, and always, always remember to pour the milk from your cereal back into the milk container to save milk and money. I love y'all. You have a wonderful night. Peace.